What's up all you junkies out there? Got Paul and Maggie here. And we are here uh, Friday at, well, it's a little bit before nine o'clock. We have early access for past members. Boy, do we have a bunch of updates and news for you today. So don't skip the video. Keep it on. Watch it all the way through. Decorations are already out for Halloween. So beware, there might be a scare actor. So right by the cheetah area, we have some work walls up and they put these work walls up because just like by the flamingos, they are putting some shade over here for the cheetah viewing area. Big work walls. But we got to see our cheetah friends over there. And we are on our way to Cheetah Hunt. And we are over here. And we got a guy in, in scuba gear. It looks like they might be, oh, no. There's a lady in scuba gear. And I think she is uh, vacuuming or doing something down here. But they are taking care of the hippo habitat. Looks like they're cleaning up all the hay and the grass that's down there. They're vacuuming up the uh, bottom of the Thank habitat. You. And of course, with them in the habitat, I'm sure there's not going to be any hippos out here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all inside. But we do have a crocodile over here. There's a chilling in the corner over there. Now, last week we gave you an update that uh, they put up work walls over here. And the work walls are still up over here because they're doing some refurbishment on this habitat. I'll give you an over the wall look. There's some more uh, area right here that they're blocking off. Looks like uh, new, new, uh, new sidewalk that they put in there. And uh, we are going up to as probably as far as we can. I or. Well, Pantopia may be open by now because it's probably 10 o'clock. So, but uh, with the early access that we had, we managed to get on Iron Gwazi, um, Cobra's Curse, and ride Montu twice. And we are now here up at the Serengeti Flyer. Now we uh, 
decided to stop in and visit an old friend of ours and uh, congratulate her. We got Dakota here, our good friend, and uh, she's she's uh, engaged. So we we stopped by to say hi, and when we were here, we're we're seeing that uh, they're doing some paper mache over here. Uh, it's enrichment for our elephant elephants. The girls need our, all the enrichment possible, don't they? Now we have we have three girls, right? Five? Yeah. We have five girls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought we only had three. Yeah, they usually have to spend their time with a group of three and a group of two. So. Ah. So, I, and what are the names of all our girl elephants? Simba's the oldest. Um, Carly is our youngest. And then it's Rosie, Karina. Oh. And and something else that is very special is the team that handles the elephants. They're all females, also, aren't they? So we have an all-female team handling all-female elephants. So nice, funful fact. Uh, I'm sure you guys can guess what ride we're on by looking at the restraints and if you don't know we're back on Falcon's Fury after many 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 months of uh, being worked on and uh, we picked the side over here so we can see um, this area here where there's going to be a new rumored coaster in about a year or two and I gotta shake my hands Sorry about that guys, but they they want us to shake our hands, make sure we got nothing loose in our hands. And uh, we are about ready to go. So I'll turn you guys around so you can see everything else. Yeah, when we get up there, you'll notice the Phoenix is gone. Sand Serpent will be shutting down July 9th. And then right in front of us, we have a little section where we have the Bush Flyers and a kitty train. And there's one more ride under there, under the tree. You see the little Oh, bikes. yeah. I didn't notice that until just didn't now. I didn't notice that either. But yeah, we gotta go over there over and there. look over there. So, yeah, supposedly... Well, right there is where the Phoenix was. And there's Sand Serpent. And of course, that's where they house all the elephants. But this whole area... will be changed. And supposedly they can go out there just beyond the Serengeti Flyer and put some of the coaster up. Well, it would be really cool if it went over the water a little bit. Yeah. You know. But now we are here and we're going to drop. Yay! Woo! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Woo. Yeah! That was good. Boy, did we miss that. <laughs> you can get a last chance photo. Remember, you gotta get this before the ride retires. And as a reminder, the ride will be retiring July 9th. So don't forget to get in your last chance photo and your last rides. I think we found a marker. And we are right here, right in front of the bush flyers. And 
there was a marker there. And here's where the Phoenix is. No. Don't see any other markers. So, but yeah, there's a marker right over there. looking for some more markers on the ground. Don't see any here. But supposedly the ride exit will be, I don't know. They said it was going into the Painted Camel. Well, who knows? as you can tell by the loudness and we're gonna check out the little project that they got going on in the Kumba parking lot Yeah, I think Lena said it was the girl. Can't remember what she said her name was. So pretty. I would love a big kitty like that. Yeah, big kitty. Not a small kitty, a big kitty. I don't like small kitties. Here's a uh, pole number eight right by the station. And right underneath it. Oh, well, I'm not sure what they're doing over here. But we did see some hollow screen decorations over that way. This may be a steer zone in the future. We will see soon enough. Oh, they got, oh, okay, so it looks like they're taking the poles down from the lights. This whole place is being transformed. Oh, yeah. Ah, so 
last week we had oh well last week we had this back there and now it's over here and also one thing to note the signage is down for the sky ride so is it going to be renamed is it going to be rethemed only time will tell this is different I was that's wondering that because was there. that's why that was there. Yep. Yeah, last week I thought this was, <coughs> and this probably is still a speaker. <coughs> so they'll be having haunted noises come out of this area. So quite a bit has changed in the past week in this area alone. We got a house and probably that will probably be a scare area or scare zone. Continuing through. We have a lots of areas in this area that's being transformed. Now that is from Stanleyville entering into Jangala. And uh, well, that's definitely going to be changed up for a hollow scream. And hollow scream is soon. Don't forget to get your tickets for hollow scream and save. Well, guys, I have an update for you about Tigris. Turns out that uh, in San Diego, on another Skyrocket 2, just like this one, there was a person that had a leg injury coming off of the ride. And all the Skyrocket 2s uh, have been shut down until an investigation on the injured leg um, gets investigated. So yeah, we may be looking at possibly up to a six month wait with the investigation in San Diego before we see Tigris reopen. We miss you, Tigris. So uh, that, that is the update as to why Tigris is closed. And it's not just Tigris, it's all Skyrocket 2s. Doesn't matter if it's in Busch Gardens, SeaWorld, Six Flags, Cedar Flags, uh, doesn't matter what park you're in, if you have a Skyrocket 2, chances are it's also closed. Well, last time we were through this area, they had some pile of scream decorations up, but this time, no hollow scream decorations. And of course, all our Laura Keat friends. Here. You should get that on there. What's that? Where they need bodies. I already got that last time. Oh. Yeah. Well, they're going to continue to advertise the fact that they need bodies. Now, the last year, this was the uh, uh, something in the shadows or something that has to do with shadows. So. Yeah, who knows? They got quite a few decorations here and they had a, some scare actors back there. But this whole area is already being transformed into a nice little scare zone. Yeah. 
Yeah, the pink chickens know how to get it nice and cooled down. They're all in the water. We're currently uh, heading to the front of the park to meet with our uh, drawing winner of a nano coaster. We are here with Ashley and Prince. Ashley is the winner of the drawing that we had for our nano coaster, and she wanted Wazi. See that? Yes. There right. you go. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a subscriber. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. And guys, when we hit a thousand, we're gonna have another giveaway. Don't, don't know what it's gonna be, but we're gonna have another giveaway when we hit a thousand. So right now we're at 520. Go ahead and see that little red button that says subscribe. Make it, make it turn gray. Gonna get you a little behind the wall scenes. As you can see here, they got a couple of holes. Oh, a couple of holes in there and those holes I'm sure are gonna be for a overhang and a covering so they will have something nice and huge here to give us some shade while we're viewing our cheetahs and I don't see any cheetahs out so but yeah that's the behind the wall Right in the left hand side, those large tan animals there, those are the Elan antelope. Elans can weigh as much as a ton, one ton. They can jump 10 feet in the air from a standing position. And also over there, just past the Elans, are the reticulated giraffe. A male giraffe can reach heights of 18 feet and weigh over one and a half ton. Now the visitor pedal 360 degrees and can also see in color. And those zebras that you see over there by the giraffe, those are the grubby zebra. They are the largest of the zebra species. Their stripes only go up to their shoulder, which gives them a completely white belly. My rhinos are the third largest land mammal. They can weigh as much as 6,000 pounds. Please stay seated. Oh, tip, tip, tip. Hello. Look at that, there's the Ozzy. Oh, sure. Thank you. Right there. The has oh. gotten big, hasn't he? The horn on our nose, you made a character just like human fingernails. And also right smack in the middle there is the Ozzy. Our baby rhino. <laughs> Born October 2nd, he's uh, well over a thousand pounds now. <laughs> Getting up there. Yes, he is. Fiazzi is a Swahili word for potatoes, but to us he's just our little tater tot. <laughs> for now. And also on the right hand side, these dark brown animals with the curved horns, those are the sable antelope. Sable antelope usually run a herd to 15 to 20 with a more dominant female as the leader. Yeah, see the shade. Of course. Those are the these running great herds that may contain up to one million out in the wild. In migrating season, the dust from these herds can be seen from the International Space Station. Also, a baby little bee is required to get up and run with the herd within the first 10 minutes of being born. Or it may get left behind. Female redneck ostrich. 
Hawthorne and hiding in the trees right here to the right. Those are the greater kudu. They are not statues. They are real live animals. Greater kudu have a tendency to be able to stand perfectly still for about two hours. Camouflage themselves into their surroundings to confuse their predators. First time I've seen them in a couple weeks. Come up on the right hand side, you see a big brown animal over there. That's our juicy cow. Also known as the African longhorn. Her horn can go up to about five to six feet long. Sacred to the what you see tribes in Africa where she's only raised warm milk. And coming up on the left hand side with our yellow train guys. Let's hoop and holler at them at three. We're gonna say choo choo. One, two, three, choo choo! Alright, good job. Last form clear.
just escaped it. Yeah. Well, can only say that when we actually get back to the platform. gonna go ahead and stay for the fireworks but um he's running low on battery my battery's running low so i don't know how much longer it's gonna last uh, hopefully we can get back to the vehicle but we did have such a wonderful day here today it was so hot <laughs> it was very hot so we had to go to the shikra splash zone twice Hi. oh she's going too fast <laughs> so yeah if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button down at the bottom. And guess what? If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that red button. Make it turn gray and subscribe. And we'll see you later. See ya.